welcome back to another hashtag Project Prima question time. Thank you so much for sending in your questions on Twitter and on Facebook and on YouTube. I'm going to try and answer as much as I can and let's get started. Three different questions. I have three very different questions. What types of books do you like to read? When you're in a sad mood, what are the top three Disney moves, movies that would make you feel better? How often do you come in contact with North Americans in Moscow? Well, my favorite books to read historical fiction with a mixture of maybe some sort of fantasy or magic or, or I love reading all types of book. I'm a ferocious reader. I mean, I, I love to read. I don't really watch a lot of movies because I don't have time. Any free time I have, I'm either doing YouTube or I'm answering emails for my other business. So do I come in contact with North Americans? When a couple of years ago, I didn't really have very many expat friends or people who weren't Russians. Um, just because of the community I was in and sort of that was just the way it was and now I have a very mixed group of people here in Moscow because I feel like I can really help sort of, not necessarily expat community but I love being able to have the perfect mixture of my wonderful Russian friends and some people who are maybe new to Moscow and I can show them the ropes. Yes, there have been more expats in my vlogs lately because I'm trying to be more active in the community as a whole. Do I have custom made Gainer Mindens? Yes, I do. Gainer Minden makes a special shoe just for me and the vamp is definitely higher and the shank is reinforced. Have I had time to travel around Russia? If so, what is my favorite place? And then I have had the, the wonderful opportunity to travel to all the different places in Russia where it Siberia, Vladivostok, Oblast in St. Petersburg, and near Sochi. So I've, I've really been almost everywhere in Russia. I love Arhangus just because the idea of snow and the beach is really special to me. I had one of my fa most favorite performances there. Perm is really depressing. <laughs> Siberia is just depressing in general. I really like some of the border cities that are on the border with northern China. Really cool, interesting, like cultural mix. Really awesome to travel around, especially by train. My hair every day makes it super dry, but I work so hard in class and it's drenched by the end of the day. How, what do I do to combat this? Well, I like to take a shower every morning and I like to make sure that I use lots of really good conditioner because I do wash my hair every day but so much that I can't imagine not taking a shower slash not washing your hair every day. This is my favorite time in Moscow and why? I think my favorite time of the year in Moscow is uh, probably May and June because it's just like the winter is over and everyone is so excited to be out and it's just a really fun, fun time. What's my favorite way to relax? I think my favorite way to relax is sort of zoning out and watching YouTube educational videos, editing, and eating some really nice food with wonderful friends. What is my favorite Russian uh, treat uh, or candy? I really like Ediscu, which is like a, it's like a caramel, but it, you have to suck on it and it's, it can, it's really sticky and people's fillings can come out and it's really good. And, there's a lot of really good, not necessarily Russian, it's more of a Georgian delicacy. It's like dried fruit and nuts, and that's kind of where I got the inspiration for the Prima Bar. So anything with like dried coconut or dates, something that's really good. And I think I tried to incorporate those flavors into the Prima Bar. People are asking when the next flavors of the Prima Bar are coming out. They are coming. They were going to have one more flavor coming out, apricot, uh, cashew, which is really good. I'm not going to make other premium products that I won't use myself. If it's a product that I'm going to use myself, then I will make it. But I'm not going to make things just to make people happy because I think that as a business owner, you should only try to sell things that you are completely 100% behind so that you're not selling something that is false. There are many, many questions on how it's possible that the Kremlin Ballet with all of our people is able to rehearse in those two studios. But we now have only two and there are no plans to increase the studios or uh, renovate them. So that's unfortunately one of the hardest things for our whole company is that there really is no room to work and it makes it very difficult because the floors are not the greatest. But then we get on stage and our stage is wonderful and huge and so it's... Uh, it's sort of like we're extreme dancers. We, am I not rehearsing for Swan Lake and John Q? We, why aren't you rehearsing for Swan Lake and Dunkyu? I am rehearsing for Swan Lake and Dunkyu. As I said before the vlog, I really try to keep it at not more than 10 minutes and I definitely have been going over lately. 
I just can't show the amount of rehearsal that I have in a day. So what you guys get in the vlog is a very small part of what my day is like, actually. Also, we're preparing for this big gala, which is where the main focus of our company is right now. We have so much to do with the festival. We have a different full-length ballet every day for September. A lot of questions about diet and exercise and what, I sh what you should eat to stay fueled. I really love eating dried fruit and nuts. For me, I feel like that's the perfect fuel, but I love the premium bars because it's the perfect amount of protein. I love to, to eat more, more protein-rich uh, foods. The Russians are really famous for their bouillon or the bouillon of the soup. Really, it's made with like, boiled bones and things like that, so it's really nutrient-dense and I like eating soups most of all. So there's been a lot of almost spam questions about strengthening your feet and your ankles. And I wanted to take this opportunity to announce that I'm going to be doing a special cross training series for Ballet Insider. I'm doing videos especially for uh, her channel, sort of like what I was doing in my vlog beforehand where I listed all the exercise I was doing. I'm now going to be doing that for her channel and I will make sure to make a special episode on feet exercises and strengthening your ankles. Tips for gaining flexibility in your back. Real for buns. I would love to make a tutorial for buns and also leotard reveal. All those exclusive content, I'm still in talks with Ballet Insider, my friend Elisa, because I, I do want to be supporting what she's doing. I think the vlogs are going to stay vlogs on my channel and the more tutorial kind of official, um, those kind of videos will be on her channel. But I encourage you to go and subscribe to Ballet Insider and look out for my special series on all the skills that you need to increase your potential in that. What is the best way to prevent your, ne your toenails from falling off? And if any of you guys who wear Gator Minions know, you really have to struggle with bruised tape toenails in the beginning. I like to use second skin and I like to use a special kind of tape, the waterproof tape that you can get at CVS and you can actually get here in Russia. And I like to wrap that around before I do point work with Gator Minions because that will protect your toenails from falling off. Does it ever frustrate you that some people don't appreciate how hard ballet actually is and assume that it's just prancing around on your toes and looking pretty. For anyone who says that ballet is not hard, I advise you to come and look at my vlogs and look at some of the other dancers in the ballet world and see how much we have to work because ballet, it doesn't pay well, but it takes up all of our free time and all of our energy goes into either training our bodies training our minds or training the repertoire that we're studying. Singing, having to wear makeup and looking beautiful and and making a character on stage and making it believable. So it's like acting and really good gymnastics combined. For my final question, and it'll be sort of a fun question, my favorite coffee drink to drink is a coconut cream latte with wonderful caramel syrup on the top. It's super caloric, but it's a super great treat, and I get it at a special coffee shop here called Coffee Shop. <laughs> the person who answered this question is my Prima Bay of the week and my ultimate Prima Bay. She gave us free tickets to go to Disneyland. Her name is Martha, and she's amazing. I found her who comments on all my videos. I think her name is I Love Alice. She's blonde and she writes a comment every single day on every single one of my videos and I just wanted to give you a shout out. Thank you so much for supporting us. And each week we are growing and it's so amazing so make sure you subscribe and like. Send your, your questions to hashtag Project Prima Questions. I want to just say a huge thank you for 8,500 subscribers. Wow, I could not believe that we have grown so fast and so this video is going to be the 250th video on my channel. So my bonus and final question, I know you watch Casey and Stat. Which other YouTubers do you like to watch? I love YouTube because it's free and it's accessible here in Russia. I started watching Casey and Stat because I wanted to learn how to vlog better. Of course, I'll never be at his status because he's amazing. But the person who I have to say the biggest thank you to is Julian Salamita because he really gave me the push to do this and he's been sort of holding my hand the whole way through. Jenna Marbles and Julian are my internet parents, so to speak. Like they're so amazing and what they do is so real and their videos are made with such passion. And so I encourage you to go over there, subscribe to them and send them a little message. And Philip DeFranco is the first YouTuber I ever started watching regularly and I have to say that 
he taught me about the YouTube community as a whole and what it was. So I love Philip Franco and what he's doing over there. And also I'm a nerd, so nerds, ballet lovers, whatever you want, let's unite you guys. It's so fun. This community is awesome. Let's grow, share, and I will see you guys next week for another Project Primo Question Time. So send your questions to the hashtag Primo Question Time and I will see you next week. Bye!